<laughs> All right, guys, how's it going? Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a short ram intake on my Accord. It's a 2004 2.4 liter dual overhead cam. There it is right there. That's the, uh, the short ram intake from engine, obviously. Okay, don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I ended up accidentally buying the wrong thing and nothing worked at all because normally right here for the model that I bought it for there's a massive foot sensor so the whole entire thing just had to go back I uh, sent it back and in the meantime I went and picked up this guy and it ended up costing me like $80 less all right so in this box this paper out of here there's the actual tube for it the cool thing about engine is um because I ordered it on Thanksgiving it gave me this really cool lanyard with, like car keys and whatever and they also gave me an extra filter like the system already comes with one but they gave me an extra one so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that because these things are supposed to last forever so all the hardware and stuff congratulations you have just purchased the best engineered dyno proven cold air intake system available that's what KNN said too, so I guess we're gonna find out. All right, so before I get too carried away here, I want to turn it on and let you guys hear exactly what it sounds like beforehand. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but um. When it's sitting at idle, there's this hum noise. Like a whoo. Now, hopefully, um, that noise will not be there when I'm done putting the new one on. Now, first off, I see this sensor right here. That sensor, this hose, and these two hoses right here, which is part of this whole thing. So that's by itself is gonna come off. Do a pair of needle nose pliers and just pull it out. Now, this one has to come out. There's a clamp underneath of there. So, I'm going to take the needle nose. It's really hard to see actually. Come underneath. Just keep that clamp, loosen that clamp up. This will pull out. Now it's free of everything. It's just gonna take a Phillips head, the short, with a small tip, and loosen this up. There you go. That's that. This is the uh, little clip I was talking about on the other side. I'll put that off to the side for now. Now I'm gonna try my best to keep the bottom half of the original air box here because without that the intake would just be sucking up the warm air that the engine produces in the engine bay. Because this actually goes all the way down there, um, past the fender liner and into the front bumper, and that's where it sucks up all the air. So next, you wanna go ahead and take this coolant line, okay? It goes right here in a little loop, right there. You wanna take that, you wanna remove that off of there. Actually, it'd be easiest to just take the whole thing off. This up, you should pop right off. All right, I got that out now. Right here, this line goes around and then goes back down in there. I'm gonna disconnect that. I'm not gonna use that. Pop that off. Some cool, it's gonna come out. That's okay. Get this long one, disconnect it. There's a lot of stuff with a lot of tubes here. Disconnect that, move this, and you want to reroute it going straight back down into where you just disconnected this little tiny one from. That way the coolant line is right back into the same exact loop that it was in before. Alright, cool. That's on. Try to reuse the um, the clamps that are already on the motor. Alright, so that's sealed up. Now. now we have this part. We're going to take this off. This isn't going to be used anymore. So. Actually, my bad. This whole thing. We don't need this at all. So I'm going to be taking this off, connecting this to this, 
and then all of it goes right back onto there. All right, real quick before we continue. This part, which belongs right here on this part, oh, right now. Yep, it goes right here. Yeah. Okay, getting that off of there is impossible if you're doing it alone. Um, luckily for me, a, uh, a buddy of mine which just happened to be passing by and he was able to get, uh, get it off with me. This, this little ring here, goes in and pops through on this side. So you take a screwdriver and loosen it up all the way around there and then it was able to slide out. But that took two of us, just this little tiny piece, which is plastic too. So if you're not careful, you'll see right there two small little cracks there yeah it's still okay but yeah just getting it off of here was like the worst thing ever next you want to go ahead and take this tube off all right so once you get this tube off you're going to want to connect it to this piece so slide that in there all right so once you have that on there take the clamp bring it all the way back up once you have that on there nice and tight take the hose here, nice and snug, put it in, alright, then I'm going to take this again, grab your ring from it, slide this in here, oh no, my bad, take this, the ring over it, slide this, put this on here, Grab your ring and lock that on there. All right, all right. So now that that part's done, go right into a little bag of goodies. I'm gonna work with this part and two clamps for those. Put those there. What else we got? That's a hard one. All right. Just to make it simpler throw these on beforehand so you don't forget them at the end and then I tighten them up a little bit then you're gonna want to take this part and throw this on there like that now take this sensor take its clamp up here so I can reuse this Oh well, we don't have to. Alright. Shove that back in that hole. And we take the tubing and we put it on. Take this tube, put it on here, slam it on as far as it'll go, but without kinking it anywhere else. Now, normally, you would have a uh, battery post like a tie down, a battery tie down. Um, I don't have that, and I didn't realize until so I went to go do this, because that is where this would go, this little tiny spacer bushing thing that goes here to fill up that gap to hold all this still. I'm gonna have to go get one of those, but that's why you see this bar here. It's actually supposed to hold it a little still. This actually is like still really tight and sturdy, but still. All right, and then last but not least, there we go. Like some really cool designs on there. It's a spider. Super nano performance filter. Engine technology. That goes on there. Alright. Problem. We can't keep this air box here. So that's gonna have to come out. It's really easy to get out. There's just a 10 millimeter bolt right there. Oh, my bad. There's another one right here. The whole thing just comes out. All right. And just tighten everything up. Again. All right. That's how it's done. I'm gonna go turn it on and see how it's done.
humming's gone. It's more like a hissing now, which is a lot better than the constant humming I had before. Pretty good, I'm happy. Just gonna show you guys how it sounds on the inside. Yeah, you can definitely hear that. Yeah, so if you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, feel free to press that like button and please subscribe to my channel. I come up with stuff weekly. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.